Titanium is used in the metal world, uh, medical world, it's used in military, it's used in jewelry, the auto sector industry, even eyeglasses, but it's very cost effective to produce. South, South Africa, as I've just mentioned, is looking at developing its own titanium industry. Give us a background to this project. Yes, uh, we, we, as you've said, have got huge reserves of titanium, but up to now we've been mining the mineral and then uh, we uh, export it without really turning it into the metal or extracting the metal from the mineral. So um, on the other hand, there are these exciting markets for titanium, which is a very special metal. Uh, and therefore, we have, uh, in collaboration with, the, uh, with our South African Department of Science and Technology, we have developed a strategy to actually bridge this gap between the mining on the one hand and, and the product, uh, on, uh, product markets on the other hand. Uh, so our technology development efforts have been around firstly a process to extract the, the titanium from the ore, uh, do it in a cost-effective way, which uh, we believe will be more cost-effective than the current established commercial process, which is known as the Crow process. Uh, our process delivers the metal as a titanium powder, a fine powder. And therefore, we are also working on, on competence to understand how to handle the powder, and how to consolidate that powder and turn it into components, into parts or even into basic products like sheet and bar and so on. Um, and we have, um, over the past uh, few years, we have mobilized all the research and development teams across the country uh, that can make a contribution towards this uh, technology development. So it's really about establishing a new titanium metal industry in South Africa, which does not exist at the moment. But of course, uh, given the benefits that will come from creating cost-effective methods of uh, producing titanium, um, it's, it's, no, um, it's no joke that other countries like Australia and the US have also got their own research going on in terms of developing these processes. How likely is it that South Africa will come out with a cost-effective method before mm. them? It is obviously a, a challenge that, that we're facing, and, uh, but we have also learned from what other people have tried in the past, and, and we are quite confident. We have shown on a laboratory scale that we can produce the metal to the required specifications. Uh, we are now moving into a piloting stage. Uh, in other words, we are scaling up to, to larger volumes. We're still talking a few kilograms per hour, uh, but we need to go through this stage to also uh, look at the engineering and technological uh, problems that goes with upscaling any, any laboratory process. We are very confident that we will make it work and, uh, and we are moving ahead with the support of our Department of Science and Technology. Now, of course, beneficiation fits into a government's broader goals of um, increasing beneficiation of our natural resources in South Africa. But looking specifically at the titanium industry, what kind of benefits do you see coming to the uh, local economy in terms of the export potential and revenue potential that the titanium beneficiation industry could bring to the country? Well, uh, currently, if we want to produce anything from titanium metal, we have to import the metal at a very high cost. It's a few orders of magnitude uh, of the price of the, of the mineral that we mine. So uh, w if we can produce the metal locally, we have local access to, to more cost-effective or cheaper metal, if you like. That will allow us to, to get, uh, as we call it, downstream industries, companies that will, for instance, cost titanium components or will be able to machine uh, components uh, for aerospace applications. We have a blooming aerospace industry that is moving forward quite proactively. Uh, and, and for that, uh, you know, in the aerospace industry, particularly more and more so in the commercial aeronautics field, uh, titanium is being used more and more. Uh, initially, it was only used in fighter or military aircraft. Now it's also being used extensively on commercial aircraft. Uh, so that's an industry that could benefit. If you think of uh, the medical implants industry, uh, some, something like a hip replacement implant, uh, the, the stem that goes in the femur, is made from titanium because titanium is very friendly to the body. It's biocompatible. 
uh, and, and therefore there are opportunities for us in our medical industry to also uh, you know, be more competitive. And I'm sure more and more uh, product opportunities evolving as the cost of beneficiation comes down with uh, research into um, these technologies. Now just looking at mm. where we are in the process at the moment, we've got the pilot process. What are the building blocks are needed to create this titanium industrial uh, industry in South Africa? Firstly, as I've said, the, the production of the metal, then we need to understand how to handle the powder because our process, the output of our process is a titanium powder and, and, to, use, and to handle large volumes of powder. Currently, if you, if you want to use a powder metallurgical process, uh, you know, the powder is very costly. If we can come in at a fraction of that cost, then we're going to apply to many more applications and products. We also need to, to be able to cast the metal and there we have established an investment casting process, which we are currently at the point of industrializing and commercializing. Uh, the machining of titanium is always important. Uh, if, if you want to produce a final component to exact uh, dimensions, you, you, you normally use machining. Uh, another very interesting application field is that of uh, additive manufacturing. Uh, in that case, from a computer-aided design model, one can produce a three-dimensional part directly without human intervention. If we, could, if we apply that to titanium, uh, then we are not wasting titanium metal. We're not cutting away metal that becomes uh, waste. Uh, but we are only using the optimal amount of material to produce the part. And that is a very exciting technology that a number of... Uh, also uh, local industry players are quite interested in. Now, Vili, uh, just very quickly, who is funding this um, project? Up to now... Just in, in a nutshell. Yes, up to now it, it's, it has been funded by the Department of Science and Technology. In other words, the government through the Department of Science and Technology. And, and the, the department has really been championing this, if you like, in the, in, in the government. As we move forward, if we move into uh, what's beyond uh, the first pilot plant, we're looking at larger investments and then we'll probably have other players coming in, also commercial players as soon as possible.